the read on all of that on the day we have deals certainly back in town, um, including Conagra offering to buy Pinnacle Foods for about 8. One billion dollars. Let's get the read from David Benson uh, and the Center uh, for Freedom and Prosperity's Dan Mitchell. Dan Mitchell, to you. Um, the backdrop, regardless of what you think of these individual deals, is that there are still big deals going on. So whatever noise we're getting on immigration, whatever noise we're getting on trade, it is not deterring those who, who want to get bigger and have more heft everywhere. What do you make of that? On the surface, it's obviously a sign that people are optimistic. They want to uh, accumulate assets because they think that it's going to generate income in the future. And that's fundamentally a positive thing. The only thing I would throw out there as a warning sign that we should keep in the back of our minds, what if this is just the fact that there's just too much easy money that's been dumped in the system hmm. and people are looking for ways to use it? That's the only thing that worries me. Well, you know, David, a lot of times what they do, what companies do, given Mana from Heaven, and that's what this tax cut has been for a lot of them, is uh, they buy back stock. Uh, or, or they might, you know, give bonuses to some of their workers and the like. But, but uh, this is actually a calculated move to buy out competitors. So you could make the argument there's a potential reality of job losses there because you're combining like entities. So there are going to be some job losses. What do you think of that? Yeah, I don't think most M&A makes a lot of sense if there isn't some cost synergies, and cost synergies usually mean job losses. I think, I think that M&A is going to end up being one of the smallest uh, ramifications of tax reform, of the, of the uh, great new cash flows that companies have that they get to keep. M&A will be on that list, but I think that uh, stock buybacks and dividends are going to be right up there, along with wages and bonuses. But then the piece that is not being talked about enough that is by far the most important is the, the increase in capex in business investment. M&A can happen for a lot of different reasons. And sometimes they can be good reasons. I think Dan, as Cato often is, is completely right. It can also happen because people have access to cheap money and are doing some bad deals. It isn't like all M&A in our uh, American corporate history has worked out very well. But really, what we want to follow, the great sign of this in the economy is the CapEx. I think it's great business investment. If you don't mind my veering into politics, gentlemen, I do have a method of my madness here. This victory for this 28-year-old woman who took down a House giant in the Democratic Congressional District, uh, she has said, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, um, that it's, it's, it's a stilted system. She's a self-proclaimed socialist, loves Bernie Sanders, says this isn't very fair to average workers. She gets to Washington, she's going to change that, indicated that companies should be paying more taxes, rich people should be paying more taxes. Your thoughts on that, Dan, because you've got these two visions here at play this election year. This is going back 50 years. The Democrats went hard left with the SDS and the radicals in the late 60s, early 70s. Now they're going hard left with socialism. And what she doesn't understand, maybe she's well-meaning, but if government is too big and controlling too much, do you really think we're going to get rid of that cronyism by making government even bigger and giving it more power? David, Crazy. one of the things that's very clear, in this environment, companies are on fire right now. Their earnings are on fire. They're expanding plant and equipment. They would come back to say, despite these mergers, uh, the fact of the matter is this government is the envy of the world. This economy is the envy of the world. And, and probably someone like that is overthinking it, over worrying. What do you say? Yeah, I think that the Sandinista wing of the Democratic Party getting a nice victory last night should not be looked at as a good thing for the, the way the center of gravity is moving on the left. And I think you're right that to the extent this reflects the continued populist angst, um, this is the left wing version of it. And I'm, I'm no more encouraged by that than I am the right wing version of it. And, and I certainly agree with you that companies uh, that are prosperous doing well lead to lower um, uh, unemployment. And that's better for the American people. And, and all we have to do is get this, this trade and tariff nonsense out of our way so that we can keep this economy moving forward. All right. We'll see what happens, gentlemen. Uh, thank you both very, very much.